Mark, when testing the uh, cable for loss, what, what, what do you recommend that you terminate? Do you leave that open or do you terminate that? Open? Okay, it can be either one. It can be open or it can be shorted. Now, the loss that it's measuring is matched line loss. In other words, you got a piece of coax that's terminated in its characteristic impedance. If you got a 50 ohm coax, you put a 50 ohm load on the end of it. <clears throat> yeah, well, no. That's what, you don't put a load on it. You, put a load. you don't put anything on it. Okay, but I'm just defining what coax loss means in this case. What it means is when it is terminated correctly, it'll tell you how much loss is in that coax. Okay, so if you got it hooked up to an antenna that's right, then that's how much loss is in that coax. It's match line loss is what it is. <clears throat> okay, let me tell you another nice little use for it too. <clears throat> Let's say that I have a patch cord. <clears throat> One end of this patch cord is shorted. You know, sometimes when you put a connector on it, you heat it up too much, and uh, you know, it melts through the insulator and you spend all that time on it and you put it all up there and it, you know, it looks great, except it doesn't work, it's all shorted out. <clears throat> okay, but let's say you got one and you don't know which connector it is. Well, you know, you can take a chance and just cut it off because you always cut the wrong one off, you cut the good <laughs> one off. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> Okay. Okay. Oh, smart kid here. Smart kid here. Just put it on distance to short. And if you're on the right end, it'll just tell you how long it is. If you're on the wrong end, it shows you short all the time. So you can, you know, find a, uh, one that's shorted. Let's see. Okay. Let's, me let's measure coax loss rate. I'm just going to plug it in, nothing, nothing on it. <clears throat> All I've got to do is just plug it in. <clears throat> I'm just about through. Go to the main mode, advance three, main mode, let up on it. Push the button until you go to coax loss. What frequency you want to know, it's, know it at? <clears throat> do what? Let's do it at 80 meters first. Coax loss, what's the coax loss? The whole, co whole thing. You read it right there. 0.28 dB. Let's see what it is at 10 meters. Uh, down here, what's it there? 0.6 meters. Let's go a little bit higher. Let's go up to six meters. Let's, let's go to go to two meters. Okay, pretty. I mean, it's only 18 feet, so it's not that not that bad. <clears throat> let's see what else here. <clears throat> okay. Let's, uh, let's do velocity factor real quick and then um, velocity factor. Okay, let me just tell you how to do it. It's real easy. Uh, I know y'all ready to go home, but real easy to do. You go to distance to fault. You set the velocity factor where it asks you, the velocity factor to one. Okay, and then you measure how long that coax is. <clears throat> um, I'm talking about with the 259. Okay, you measure the length of the coax with the 259. <clears throat> um, <clears throat> it can be open or shorted. You just measure the length of it with the velocity factor equal to one. Okay, um, <clears throat> that gives it, gives it to you in free space. Okay, and then um, <clears throat> you take what you determine from the coax and then you actually measure the length of the coax, <clears throat> and then you take the physical length that you measure with a ruler and divide it by the length that you measure with the 259. That's the velocity factor, <clears throat> okay? 
You measure the length of the coax physically. And then you measure the length using the 259 with velocity factor equal to 1 using distance to fault. Divide the two and you got the velocity factor. Real easy. <clears throat> okay. You know, if you got that roll of coax and you need to measure the length of it and you don't know what the velocity factor is, just cut a little piece of it off and measure it. Okay. <clears throat> um, uh, I'm, I'm going to just tell you this. How to, to, to measure the frequency of a quarter wave stuff, just stick the coax on it, start at the low frequency, uh, leave the end open, tune up in frequency until you get a short. That's the length, that's the frequency at which that coax stub is a quarter wave. Okay. Now, to measure a half wave stub, whatever is on the end of a coax that's half wave long, that same thing shows up on the other end. Put a short on it, it's a short over here. Put an open, it's an open here. Put 100 ohms here, it's 100 ohms here. Okay. So you can find a half wave the same way. Just short it over here, plug it into the 269, sweep it up from a low frequency until you find the short. That's the half wave frequency. 